Hey guys, Stefan here, the Photobook Guru, and this week I'm reviewing for you the Journey Photobooks. If you haven't got time to stay with me until the end of the review, then I've got good news for you. Use the code PPGURU15 until the 19th of November, and the first 100 users are going to get 15% off the Journey Photobooks. So bear that in mind, the first 100 users until the 19th of November. So the Journey books are one of the best new little gadgets that you can find for travellers because it makes it so easy to create moments and then create a photo book full of memories and uh, stickers and uh, lots of um, information without spending hours and hours on editing because the book is created automatically. Now, if you're not a traveller, you can still use the book and the app for friends and gatherings and parties and whatsoever. As long as you create moments and entries into your journal, you'll be able to benefit from the amazing features of these books. So how does it work? You have to download the app to your smartphone or your iPad and obviously it works from Android devices as well and when you go on a trip first of all you have to create a journey so basically a journal for the actual trip and then add moments and when you're adding your moments you're basically creating a small story like today I went to this cafe uh, we had this and this and we had a great time and then you add some pictures the app is automatically going to get the geotags from your phone's GPS and the date and that's basically a moment and these moments are going to be used when creating the book so the more moments you have the bigger your book is going to be and moments can be anything from photos, restaurants uh, if you pay a small premium you can upgrade or do a one-off uh, purchase and you can get flights, uh, weather, stickers and uh, all kinds of other goodies to put into the book so let me give you a very quick uh, look through so that's the cover and uh, the book starts with um, basically uh, the title of the book and a small um, profile picture and then the title again and the cool thing is that it's going to give you a stamp it's going to give you a stamp for Malta uh, the, this book is from my pictures from my recent trip to Malta and you can collect uh, stamps into your passport so uh, the more countries you go to and the more moments you have the more stamps that you're going to have in your passport in your journey passport and another great thing is that you can be part of the community and you can look at other people's journeys and they can follow you so it's a bit like Instagram but uh, people can follow your whole travel experience all the way through with um, all the information that you provide about hotels and flights and etc so this is the, the map that it created for me and as you can see it puts little pinpoints to all the places we went to and then it's going to show you that there are 15 moments in this book and 5 days. It was a 5 day trip and for all of these uh, days there are moments. So just a few more things that I can show you. Um, let's again a sample page and as you can see there is a detailed map again when, uh, from the airport that we left and uh, 17th of May and just pictures there and it's some story and, and all these layouts are automatic so you can't really put pictures around but that's the beauty of it that you don't need to spend your time on creating this book it's going to be automatic again there's a detailed map of a second day a full page uh, photo there looks really great uh, I love these and uh, you can do stuff like that too so uh, let me get into my usual files to show you more details about the cover paper binding quality and a bit about the app in the phone and then in the end I talk about uh, delivery price and the pros and cons of this book so stay with me so first of all let me show you how it came packed so it was in a box like this really thin and flat packed and when you open it there is a note in it which says hello from Vienna the interesting thing is it says hello from Vienna but the book came from Germany and uh, it says that they are producing the books in Germany so the office might be in Vienna I'm not sure uh, and also in the end you see there is a five euro voucher for your next book and the code it's really great that when you do a first book they already give you a discount for a second one so encouraging you to do more and more so the book comes like that it was all intact and sound. So 
so that's how it looks and let's start with the sizes you've got four sizes to choose from uh, one portrait two landscapes and a square one this one is the large landscape which is an A4 size 21 by 29.8 centimeters you've got a small landscape which is an A5 half the size of that and you've also got an A4 portrait which is the same size but obviously like that and you've got um, a square one which is 21 by 21 centimeters so a fair selection of sizes for an app book uh, so let's have a look at the cover you've got two options you've got um, a soft cover and a hard cover this one is the hard cover and as you can see it's really matte it's not one of those glossy covers and I think it's really nice um, it hardly has any shine just a very very subtle sheen and that's the clarity of it and the texture it's really good it's it's a lovely feel it's very smooth it, it feels silky but it's it's a lot less shiny than a silky paper would be so on the front you, you have various options to choose from uh, regarding the layout and you can choose from a variety of fonts for the cover uh, on the spine you've got a very short title which says the same as on the front, Malta 2017, and you've got the logo of the company, nothing on the other side, and on the back of the book, you've got the logo again in the bottom. So it's, it's very, very simple. There's nothing you can put on the back, so it's going to be blank and white, and also at the moment, there is no option to get rid of this logo in the back, even if you pay. So let's open the book and um, see how it connects and how the binding is so in the first uh, double spread is a white sheet this is connecting the book to the main cover and you've got the exact same thing on the back and then just one more page before and you've got the company logo and information again about the app and after the white double spread you've got your first page starting with the title the profile picture and again the company logo the book is perfect bound and that's the only option they have at the moment. That's how it looks from the top. And uh, it says on their website that they are planning to introduce lay flat options in the near future but they're not available at the moment. When you start paging through it is a very very standard perfect bound book. It's really nicely put together. Uh, pages very well and there is not an awful lot getting lost in the gutter there's always going to be a little bit lost in the middle given the the perfect bound nature but not not too much so don't worry about your pictures getting chopped in the middle it, it won't be a big problem so you start paging as you can see it opens up quite nicely and it feels really high quality and um, it's a really great value for the price. I think um, it's absolutely fine and that's how it looks from the top. Let's go on to the paper. So they only use one kind of paper, which is 170 gram square meter, 170 GSM, and it's a matte paper. Now the interesting thing is when you start looking at it, it's again, very similar to the, to the cover stock, but uh, it has a subtle sheen. The silk paper I showed you in the previous reviews had a very similar uh, subtle sheen, so it's very hard to tell apart the two. I would say this paper is certainly less shiny than the standard silk, but it's not completely matte, so you will have a, a very subtle sheen as you can see it in the light, but it's not anything um, to the extent that would obstruct um, viewing from any angle at all. So let me try to show you the texture of the paper. Let me find a nice landscape. So that's the texture of the paper. And the great thing about this is that it's slightly thicker than your standard silk stock that you get with these perfect bound books. Normally it's 148 or 130 GSM and this one is 170 so it's slightly thicker and you can feel that it's just a little bit stronger than the average paper that you get in most of these books. 
so that's certainly a big plus regarding the paper you need to have a minimum of 20 pages the maximum page count is a staggering 400 pages so you can go up to 400 pages with these books which is amazing given the the binding option it's a perfect bound book so when you have 400 pages it's going to look like an amazing uh, travel memory journal and now let's go on to the printing and talk a little bit about colors it's a digitally printed book there is no silver halide option just like with all of these um, app books these are quite basic regarding the printing but nonetheless it's really great in quality and as you can see it has really vibrant colors and uh, the print quality is really sharp as well there are some lovely tones uh, the only thing I noticed about the printing is that it's a tiny tad uh, darker than the actual images and I have printed out these pictures in a different book as well and even compared to that I would say it's a it's a little little bit dark since the pictures are a bit darker it seems that they are more contrasted which is not a bad thing because with some of the photos like for example with this one it looks great because it makes it look more dramatic but sometimes it can just make the highlights a little bit darker so um, although they are really vivid so although the colors are very so if, if I can give you one tip uh, make it make your pictures a little bit brighter in the editor or on your phone before uploading or using them in the app because it might be closer to what you want once it gets printed so first of all you have to create a memory or a journey mine is Malta 2017 so what you do is you add a moment and then you can choose whether to add the note of photos, uh, add flight, add weather, add smileys, nature, um, transport, animals, activity, uh, flags and certain things and country specific uh, stickers and then um, once you add the story you can add some photos to it and then a description where was it taken uh, at what time what's the date and then you have all these small memories it's a bit like Instagram at this point um, but once you have all the memories then you can go to create photo book you select the size so let's select uh, landscape and um, then it starts creating the preview for you so it creates a basic layout for all your pages and then you can edit them separately so if you click on the page uh, you can go on a certain element and hide it and then it's going to rearrange it with just the other two photos left on the page so it creates the basic layout then you go to customize your book and here you can customize the first page you click on it and you select which pictures you want on it so if you select one then you're going to get a cover like that if you select more than one then you get a kind of a collage um, and then you can shuffle change the title here are the kind of fonts that you can choose from and the colors that you can choose from and the sizes and then you go on and here you can select what you want to include in the book and again you can select the font for the text uh, inside the book and here is the favorite bit you have a full page favorites option so you can click on certain images and then the book is going to organize them into a full page photo uh, these could be a favorite or just something that you want to really emphasize then you go on uh, next and if it's a landscape you can choose from the two sizes soft cover hard cover go on and um, voucher code and then you can choose a delivery so let's talk about the price this is a 28 page uh, a4 landscape hardcover book and it costed 45 euros so a very reasonable price for a hardcover book now let's uh, say a few more words about the pros and cons of the book uh, what I loved about it well the idea I mean I travel a lot and when you get a book which is going to do all the editing work for you there's nothing really that can make your life easier I'm obsessed with details and maps and information about certain days and experiences 
So when you travel, you always have five minutes to create a moment when you're on the bus or on the train or wherever. And then when you come home, you can just make it into a book without spending hours editing later on. So I think the idea is one of the biggest advantages of this book. It's very unique and it creates also a community of travelers where you can see each other's experiences and uh, follow people all around the world. The other thing I love about the book is that it has a fairly wide selection of options given that it's only an ad book. Uh, you have four different sizes and you have premium options and the uh, delivery was really fast too. Also the cover is a really nice matte uh, soft um, touch cover and I think it looks really great. The few things that I didn't like so much about the book, uh, it would be nice to have a, a paper upgrade if you pay a little bit more, maybe have something more lustrous or something a little bit more premium than the standard 170 matte, which is also much better than the average, as I said, in the close-ups, but still, it would be nice to have at least one more option. Uh, the second thing is, as I said, you can't get rid of the logo. Again, some people don't like having logos on their books, so paying 5 10 euros for that to get it removed would be a nice um, touch. But apart from that, I was really, really pleased. I was very eager to try these books and they made me very, very happy. Uh, and I can urge you to try them out, especially if you travel, you're going to love this. If you are not new to Instagram or things like that, then it's going to give you an extra uh, platform to uh, connect with other people too. So don't forget to use the code uh, TPGURU15 and until the 19th of November, the first 100 users are going to get 15% off their books. Um, come to my website, thephotobookguru.com, to see the latest deals of all the photo books that I've reviewed so far and to see more up-close images of this book. Thank you for watching. As always, subscribe for more.